Hi, I'm Jonathan Bardzik, and I'm here to reveal the 2018 Vegetable of the Year. What's that? First, there's this organization called the National Garden Bureau, and they tell us about all the cool stuff we can do in our gardens, landscapes, and patio containers. Each year, their board of directors gets together and picks a vegetable that is easy to grow, has lots of different varieties, and has been the subject of some really cool new breeding. And the 2018 Vegetable of the Year is... The beet. Yes. Now, I've been told that some people, Dad, think that beets taste kind of like a bowl of dirt, and not very good dirt either. So if you need some convincing, here are a few reasons to grow and eat more healthy and delicious beets. Now, you know the first reason already. Your mom told you this. Beets are good for you. They lower blood pressure, increase stamina, fight inflammation, and that red color, those are phytonutrients, and they've been shown to ward off cancer. And you can also eat the greens, which are chock full of iron, even more than spinach. That'll ward off osteoporosis and boost your immune system. There are lots of different kinds of beets. The red ones you know, the golden yellow and orange beets, they tend to be a little milder, less earthy. The Chioggia beet, an Italian heirloom from, you guessed it, Chioggia, just south of Venice, they're a little sweeter. Those beautiful red circles, they're gonna fade if you cook them too long, so do something quick like pickling or steaming. There's one beet that's really gonna win over any final resistors, it's this one, the white beet. This is an All America Selections award winner called Avalanche. They're super mild with no earthiness or bitter aftertaste. So how do you cook beets? Well, they're delicious roasted, served in hearty soups and cold over salads. But one of my favorite flavor combinations with beets is capers and creme fraiche. First, I'm gonna remove the greens, then we peel the beets, and then I dice them, which is gonna make a complete mess of my hands. This is why in the 19th century, beets were used for face and lip color. A few more. Next, I'm gonna saute them with vinegar, and when they're tender, I'll add in some capers. You can find these in the aisle with the pickles and the relish at your grocery store, and some creme fraiche. You can find this with the good cheeses in the case over near the produce. You can think of this as sour cream for grown-ups. We'll finish with a sprinkle of fresh thyme. Now we're ready to take a bite. Mm. Gosh, that is so good. So for this recipe, more information about the Year of the Vegetable program and about all of these great beets, visit the National Garden Bureau at ngb.org. Now, get out there with your friends and family, have fun gardening, and happy 2018, you're the beat.